show you a patient uh, who has uh, long-term follow-up on bunion deformities. And the interesting thing about her is that we did her right foot traditionally, and that was done eight years ago, and we did her, right, her left foot mentally invasively. So she's had the uh, pleasure or displeasure of having two foot surgeries, one with a mentally invasive procedure and one with a traditional procedure. So we got a great outcome. She had a pretty bad bunion. This is the traditional procedure. The incision went from here to here. You can't really see the incision because if you treat the tissue right, you know, you won't have much scarring. But it's scar uh, this about this long was the incision. This was an Austin procedure and then some soft tissue rebalancing uh, to get a toe straight. So you can see her toes really straight now after, uh, what is that, eight years? So real good range of motion, no joint issues here. This is the foot we did mentally invasive. Come on this side up here, I can kind of look at the top part. Did this foot mentally invasive. Also a really good correction, really good range of motion, about the same as the other. So these are normal ranges of motion. And when you put you know, weight bearing on there, they look about the same. You can see there's a little bit more shortening in the big toe. That's because we did, for this we just did the Austin. For this we did the Austin, and we also did the Aiken. Now, so she's been real happy. She has no pain in either foot. Uh, both feet have done real well, but we wanted to ask her some things about this because this is what's kind of interesting. Um, with your right foot, are you having any pain with it now at all? No, no. No pain at all. And how, the left foot, any pain with it? No. So pain free in both feet. So when people ask which is better, what works better as far as pain, uh, in the long run they're the same. And even radiographically and you know subjective and sub subjectively, bunion surgery is the same whether it's minimally invasive or whether it is a traditional procedure. However, this is where the things change. With your foot, which one took longer to get over for you? The one on the right. So the right foot took longer to get over. And how about after the surgery, which one hurt the worst? The one on the right. The one on the right hurt worse though. So after the surgery, the traditional hurt worse. Um, which one were you able to get back to normal activity quicker with? This is the one on the left. So on the left, she got back to normal uh, activity quicker. This is a minimally invasive procedure. So. The advantage of mentally invasive uh, procedures is not that it's better than traditional, because look at this, this is a great correction, and she has no problem doing well. The, the advantage is that because it's less traumatic, the patients uh, get back to normal activity quicker. So, you know, the, the argument about which is better, neither one of them are better, they're, they're the same. Um, mentally invasive surgery in the bunion, and open and open or, or traditional, or this is actually the same in the long run. You can get some really good correction with either one of them. They both do a good job. It's just that in the uh, in the recovery of these, the mentally invasive people, their recovery is quicker. Which she's you know she's had both surgeries done. She's had the open and also the uh, the percutaneous. The percutaneous procedure is better. Cosmetically, they're about the same. If you do if you don't uh, disrupt the uh, you know, the tissue too much, they're going to heal well, at, in the long run pretty much the same. So there's not even really a cosmetic improvement with mentally invasive surgery. What there is, is uh, better VAS scores postoperatively and quicker recovery of the deformity. So that's, that's what the advantage of mentally invasive surgery right, actually is. With your right foot, you remember how long it took you to get back to work? I know it's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> but it, it was supposed to be a while. Yeah. And with your left foot, how it was it quicker to get back to work? You think? Probably. Don't really remember. It's been so long, but basically, you know, we know she had an easier recovery she uh, with the left foot. So that's really the advantage: is the recovery is quicker, the the vast scores which we you know kind of take care of there and and uh, actual report are better with mentally basic surgery.